even though we are starting to see more accountants on screen, mostly in criminal nature. And I do believe that's because folks are starting to realize the creativity and impressive nature of what an accountant can take. Um, but even so, almost all of them have the same stereotype when it comes to the relation to their work. Accountants are often depicted as stressed out, overworked, and they rarely seem to be enjoying their job. But this doesn't have to be the case, right? It seems that the, the main reason these accountants are portrayed as this is one common thread. They all have manual processes. Our first show is The Office. In regards to this scenario that we've gone through, um, they actually end up going around the office and asking people around the office certain questions, a little bit of accusations, and actual fighting occurs within the team. Um, and then this happens at the end. We, uh, we found it. You did? Where? In your books. Excuse me? You accidentally logged this equipment depreciation twice. Well, that doesn't sound like me. Very well. Case closed. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Definitely one of the worst feelings, but also inevitable when you have manual processes um, is the feeling when a mistake like that happens. Um, so to recap, they weren't able to flag duplicates the initial time of entry. Um, the budget is now unbalanced and they can't find where the invoice or transaction receipt this missing $3,000 is. And there's no clear audit trail for their review twice. Um, human error is actually the number one cause of all accounting mistakes. And now that doesn't mean we don't want humans involved. That means we want humans to be able to have the peace of mind that the data is lining up on its own properly so they can focus on the higher value tasks. 55% of leaders are actually not completely confident they can identify financial errors before reporting results. And 35% of self-employed contractors stress out about making an accounting mistake. Now, the implication here, sometimes we don't think about, is what happens because of these common problems and what are we creating for our teams? So think about all that time that we're spending searching through the data to search where the missing invoice is. In the meantime, more new invoices are piling up in our inbox or on our desk, and the cycle can repeat itself and actually get worse. And then before you know it, you have vendors upset because there's late payments and now you're playing catch up. So what's the solution for Angela and team? Um, how do we fix this problem uh, for you and your team? So maybe you don't have this issue again either. We need three key things. We need to reduce the manual steps in the AP workflow, thus reducing the risk of manual error. We also need to have a tool in place that can track changes, cache duplicates on its own, and manage our approvals. And lastly, we want to increase the overall control and visibility of the practice. That way, when we go back to review or audit, everything can be found right away. But with our AP automation tool, we'll be able to assist with that. You can have all those duplicates caught right away um, and give you that reporting. So I'll show you a little bit about that at the end. But we'll head into our next one. It's gonna be stranger than fiction. So as mentioned at the start, this is the next account we're gonna be talking about. Um, basically, we get to meet Harold Crick and how his whole life is consistent repetition. Um, he wakes up at the same time every day, does each step within his daily process all the same. And one of the real key points that I wanted to dive into for this clip is that uh, Harold is actually taking a shortened lunch break as well as a timed coffee break just in order to be able to finish all of his work on time. Um, and this is actually more common than you'd realize, not necessarily taking a shortened lunch break, um, but staff members actually having to work a little bit of overtime just to get everything done. Um, and that's usually related to a manual process where there's more time consuming tasks. Within. So this is kind of showing his brief lunch break. He gets outside. He's actually still doing work during his lunch break. That's also extremely common during, during work, doing work during a lunch break. Um, so again, it's really all related to overworked staff. This part of the presentation is a little bit for those doing the actual work. It's also for any leaders in attendance that are the ones in charge of their staff um, and just some of the ways that you can create a better culture for you and your team. Um, so the problem is he has time consuming um, and honestly, in this case, mind numbing monotonous processes, um, especially around uh, manual data entry. Um, we wanna be able to plan, budget, forecast, move things around. We wanna make the company we're working for as profitable as possible. That's the, the fun part of accounting having to type in every single piece of info that already lives on the invoice uh, into our ERP, uh, it just doesn't really make sense anymore and it's not needed. I've spoken to a lot of accounting teams um, that actually are working over time. Sometimes their management and directors aren't even aware of it. So for those of you here in leadership, don't let that be the case for you and your team. Uh, and then for those here that are doing the actual data entry, which we had some mention at the start, 
Um, don't settle for a, a poor work-life balance. You can improve it so that way you can focus on better things for you and the company. Um, so as you can see, if you sample enough accountants, the stats do back up that for those doing the work, they do believe that technology is increasing their productivity. Um, I know for anyone not currently using it, the help of technology can be a scary change at first because you're used to your current process, um, but it really is here for your benefit. So the solution, um, in the last example, I talked about having a system that can play duplicates and give you clearer visibility. Now I'm going to focus more in on that data entry and reducing paper and going digital. So with the auto capture, the way it works with our system, it's going to actually use optical character recognition to read and enter all the invoice information for you. Uh, the current capture rate success rate is 99%. That does exceed the manual data entry counterpart, uh, which we saw can be prone to mistakes. But we're still giving you full control with our system. So even though it's entering all that in for you, if you do want to make any adjustments or changes, you have full ability to do so.